Hello, what's up everyone? In today's video, I want to cover a new problem that I have just finished with my mentee, one of my mentees, and it is about the rightmost digits rotation. Okay, so let's get started. So suppose you want to have a, a number that you want to rotate. Uh, I call the number N. And I want to rotate the number uh, using uh, integer m, which means m is the index of the uh, like numbers from the right to the left. So, for example, here if I rotate seven three five two nine one uh, for one rotation, I rotate one with one. That's it. And if you do the two, I want to rotate the nine here with one. And if I want to rotate with three, what happened is uh, I rotate the nine one, go to the left and two to the rightmost and so on and so forth. So how do I solve this problem? So the way I solve this problem is using uh, an example. So uh, if you are not sure how to solve a problem, visualize it and find a pattern or a keep repeating uh, like sign that it is something that we can solve with the programmatic solution. So in here, what happened is I have m equal one and I just, uh, what is it? Uh, change it like that. And if I m equal two, I just change the, uh, the position nine to the right and one to the left. And what happened if I keep repeating it? So it turns out that, uh, like the one will be like moving however uh the the red sides is become bigger and bigger and bigger so let's see the formula formula so for example i have m equal three so from the right side i can count one two three which is number two and then what happened is two moving to the right most and then uh, we have the red one moving to the middle and then we have a green one i'm sorry i'll i'll make it uh, green mm. and green the same so see red to here green same uh, black the right that's it so after doing that i create a, a like simulation so in here if i'm using a ruby syntax it's something like number zero dot dot two which is I want to get the numbers from zero index into the two index, which is seven, three, five. And for the red one, I take it from the four to five because the M is three. So it is like uh, M plus one, something like that. And then after that, I can have the M itself, which is three. And then I think about it and I found uh kind of like a solution so numbers the initial one is zero dot dot actually not two directly but three minus one uh, same with the red one it is actually numbers dot length minus three because it is from the right uh minus the m itself plus one to the end of the to the end of the array not the f the word to the array okay and i get this now i just need to rearrange uh like green on the left red to the middle and then black to the right and i can create the more generalized version using the symbols m that's it so let's get started so in here i have a solution and i have created a a very simple uh solution in uh, mini test so this is my test data i create a solution using a uh, meta programming because I don't want to repeat myself because the expectation is the same. And in here, I just do everything again and again. And then after that, I assert that the last portion is equal to the rotate rightmost digit with the 735291, which is our test data. And then the, the result is, and then the index from the right side is the test data dot first. And then let's run it and screen 
So how it works? So how it works is usually very simple. Uh, what happened is you can imagine here we have uh, rotate rightmost digits n and m. I convert n into a digits, and I reverse it because in in Ruby what happened is uh, n digits is returning a reverse first reverse version of the digits, and then after that I can create the left, middle, and right. I combine everything and I join to, and then I return back the integer. So what happened here is actually I creating all this uh, left, middle, and right, and then joining all the arrays. So that's very simple. So let's take a look. So in here for the left side, what happened is I want to get the numbers dot length equal m if so i return an empty array otherwise i return this function why is it important because uh, for example i have m equal length uh, which means if i have length of six uh, m of six and length of six the numbers become something like this numbers dot length is six minus m six is zero zero minus one is minus one and if i put zero dot dot minus one I get everything, which is I don't want to. Uh, that's why I need to force it to return a empty array, an empty array. And then for the middle, there is no um, confusion. It's very simple. But for the right side, because I only take one single number, I need to enclose it with a square bracket so that it returns an array. And I can add it in here, like array plus array plus array. That's it. So let's run once again and voila, it's all green. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I hope this video is useful for you and I will share the code in the description below. Thank you.